and cook like me but hi you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Aaliyah. a lot of people call me Leela though this is my very first youtube channel i'm going to be talking about my breast augmentation that i did get with the lift with dr sofer i will be tagging um the surgery place and i will also be tagging the doctor down below make sure you guys subscribe and let's get into it first things first i do want to say i love 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 my boobs um ever since i was young i had a big insecurity of my boobs like I just felt like I couldn't really grow tops like these, like that, because I felt like one was bigger than the other. I know that's normal, but no, I feel like that was like something tremendously big for me. So I wanted to change that. So once I got a little older and got everything in order, I'm like, I'm about to go get some new lubes. You know, like I'm about to go get the look. <laughs> but yeah, so I will be posting a video of my boobs before. Okay, and now you see my boobs now. I love them. But yeah, so stay tuned. I'm about to get in the video so you guys can see how this surgery went. <laughs> okay, so I have been getting a lot of questions on what type of implants that I get. I have the gummy bear implant. Um, it is a silicone gummy bear. So like, if you were like to fill my boobs, they would feel literally like gummy bears. like actual boobs i didn't really want the fake look i really wanted like the more natural look but yeah so i have the gummy bear implant um one implant is a 295 cc and the other implant is a 395 cc and i will get into details on that in the video but first things first i do want to start off by saying that this was something this was how can I say? I was very terrified, very scared to um, go into surgery due to I've never been put under anesthesia before. So you can even ask my friends, they can vouch for me. This was something, like I literally have to push myself to do it, but once I want something, I'm going to do it. That's just how I am, I'm really determined. So um, I just, you know, put my mind to the side and I just gave my faith to God and was just like, I know he got me through this surgery. This is something that I really wanted to do. And I'm just gonna give my faith to God. So I did it. Um, it was a scary journey, but if it's something that you really want, you're gonna get it done. <laughs> but first things first, I do want to say thanks to Dr. Sofer. He did a great job. And now it's getting to the process of all this. So I first got to the surgery place. My um, companion came because you know you need a companion to come with you. Um, when you go to surgery because they're the ones going to pick you up due to that you are going to be under anesthesia so you're going to be feeling a little you know not yourself so they say but um, my companion came with me she dropped me off and then I went into the room they changed my clothes uh, well they gave me these um, a gown to put on to leave the front open so the doctor can see my boobs and everything and so he could mark me up um, she also put IV into my arm well, into my vein in my hand. She said that was my good vein, but in reality, I felt like this was my good vein, but it's okay, because the boobs are there. So, um, this is the look. This one. Okay. As y'all can see, they had me in a gown, and your girl was looking like an elf, but it's okay, because your girl got the boobs done. <laughs> But yeah, so um, she's, I was in the room, I changed and everything, and then the doctor came in there and he's like, hi, I'm like, hey, so he was asking me um, what look that I want, and you know, I showed him my picture, I'm like, I want to look like this, you know, I showed him Jelly, y'all. <laughs> I was like, I want to look like this, and they're like, you know, uh-uh, my -uh, was too big for you, you know, like, he's like, yo, 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 um, chest ain't like that, like, you know, preference, I'm like, okay, no problem, like, do what you do, you do the doctor, whatever you feel is good, like we can do that. So um, he opened my gown and was just, you know, 
marking me, letting me know what was right, what was what looked good, what didn't look good, and everything. Letting me know, letting me know what he was gonna do. And this is the part I was gonna tell you about, about why I had to get the 395 CC and 295 CC because, like I said, one of my boobs were tremendously. That's the word he used, y'all. Tremendously bigger than the other. So. Um, he's like, okay, so I'm going to put a 295 in this boob and I'm going to put a 395 in this boob. And I'm like, okay, bet, like, whatever you think is good, we can do that. And as you guys can see, they look exactly like, you know, like, they look good. So I'm like, okay, dog, whatever you say, like, I'm down for it. And then he's just going through the procedures and everything, letting me know, you know, this is like a roller coaster, basically like a car accident. So like anything can happen during the procedure. You've never been under anesthesia before. So, you know, just let me know the good and in the bad. I mean, that's something that I did want to know. It was scary, but hey, I mean, I just wanted him to get into detail. I didn't want nothing to be left out. So um, after that, the anesthesia nurse came in there and she was explaining to me about um, how the process was gonna go. If anybody knows me, once again, anesthesia was something that is very, like, I don't like, I mean, I do it on a daily, I'm a nurse myself, but I never got put on an anesthesia before. So that was just something really major to me and really big. So I literally had, I literally had the nurse in there for about, I wanna say, what? 30 minutes talking to her about the same thing over and over again. I'm like, okay, so how's this gonna go? How's that gonna go? And, but honestly, she made me feel so much comfortable because y'all, I was literally this close to saying, forget it. Like, I'm just gonna keep the boots that God gave me at this point. Because it was just so many, um, what can I say? So many pinpoints that was making me say, okay, yeah, maybe this is it for me because so many things were happening. Like, girl, the nurse done lost my pee. So I'm like, the nurse lost my pee. Like, God don't want me to pee. Like, they make you fast. So you have to fast before you get to your um, appointment. My appointment was at three o'clock that day. So I stopped eating and drinking at 10 the day before or that night. So she like, oh, then she's like, like, oh, there's no surgery without no pee. I'm like, ma'am, I just pee. I gave it to your nurse. And she like, no, baby. Like, the nurse, she only speaks Spanish. So she like, no, no pee, no pee. I said, yes. I left it right here. She like, no, I'm like, so I remember pee again, y'all. I literally was squatting on the floor like a baby, like squatting, like pushing my hardest to pee because I already pee. Like, how much more do you want me to pee? Like, I can't pee. She like, we have fluids through the IV, ma'am. Y'all only had this IV on me for five minutes. Like, I can't pee. So I literally had to push my hardest to pee. So I'm like, she was like, well, we have to reschedule if, if we don't have no pee. I'm like, ma'am, I already peed for her. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I finally was able to pee. Um, then the nurse came in there and she was like, me so sorry, me so sorry. Um, me lost the pee. Yeah, I know. Why you just saying admit that to the, why you admit that to the doctor? I'm trying to lie. But I want everything to go smooth. So I was just like, okay, yeah, let's get going. And you know, they do the pee to make sure you're not pregnant and to make sure that, that you're not on any drugs. So, um, everything was negative. I was good to go. So then an anesthesia lady came back in there and she was just letting me know that she was going to be taking me to the back. So, um, she could start the process with the doctor. So she's walking me through, you know, walking me through the walkways. I, get through. I, I just see these girls getting BBLs, getting boobs, getting lipo, you know, getting reductions. I'm like, oh, and they, there's one girl shaking. She's like, ooh. I'm like, ooh, like, ooh, you know, the lady at the end of the season, like, like, come on, keep walking straight, because she know. She, I'm, when I say nervous, y'all, I was nervous. So she like, no, keep walking straight, keep your head down, because who? I was like, you know what? Deuces, this ain't for me. But I'm like, okay, just keep me focused, just be focused. So I'm walking straight, and then finally we get inside of the um, surgery room, and then lay me down. And she like, okay, so you're going to lay right here. Exactly how the bed is, y'all. The bed is, like, made for a body, basically. Like, it ain't no regular hospital bed. It's like a leg and arm bed. So I'm like, ooh, it feels like a fucking death bed. I'm like, ooh, Lord, like, Jesus. So she laid me down, and she's like, okay, so now I'm going to um, have the nurses come in here. It's going to be, like, four other nurses in here with, with me and also their doctors. So that made me feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that I'm going to have other people monitoring me also because I was really big on that once again because of the anesthesia. But the anesthesia lady made me feel very calm. Like, I'm happy for her. Like, honestly, if I would have never met the anesthesia lady, I would have probably been like, 
I can't do this. So she made me feel very confident about myself, very good. So she laid me down and she was like, all right, I'm gonna put this mask on you. This is for the oxygen. I'm like, ma'am, I work in the hospital. Like, you ain't gotta lie to me. Like, I know that's gas. And she like, okay, it's gas. It's just gas to help the process of the anesthesia. So I'm like, she's like, okay, I'm gonna put it on. She put it on me and I'm like, no, I moved it. I was like, how about we just talk? Like, let's just talk and then you can put the gas on my face, on my face because that just made me more scared. So you know they tied my arms up like Jesus on the side and she like oh, oh. I'm like oh Lord. So she tied me up. It made me more scary. She laid me back and then I'm talking to the nurse and then like five minutes later, you know, the anesthesia lady kinda quiet back there. So I'm like and I see her injecting the anesthesia and I'm like, oh my God. And she was like, How are you feeling Aaliyah? I'm like, I'm feeling good. Are you feeling anything? I'm like, no. And then she asked me again, how are you feeling? I said, I feel and that was it. I was out of the like lightning, y'all. Gone. So I woke back up, and when I woke up, I'm like, no, this is a dream. That was fast as fuck. Like, I don't think that he's done. So I'm like, looking around. I'm like, nurse, nurse, nurse. I'm calling the nurse. And then finally, the nurse that came in, and she was like, yes, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, where's my friends? Where are my friends? Where are my friends? <laughs> Because I just needed to know that this is real. I needed to see an actual person and touch them. I'm like, I don't think this is real. So um, she was like, I just called them. Um, they're five minutes away. They're coming. I'm like, oh, okay, good. So then I'm like, stop shaking, y'all. I just stopped shaking. like stop shaking. I'm like, man, I can't stop shaking. I can't stop shaking. Literally, y'all, like, for real. And she's like, oh, it's normal. It's just the anesthesia. And I'm like... Man, I'm cold. Like, I can't stop shaking. I'm so cold. So, she had gave me this little heater thing. And she put it under me. And basically, the heater, it, like, it didn't do shit. It didn't do nothing. How about that? It didn't do nothing because I was still shaking, y'all. So, I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, I never felt this cold before. Like, I already been cold. So, it's like, I was even more. Like, I was just, it felt like I was anemic at that point. But then, finally, um, my friends came. And they gave me my belongings. And they wheelchaired me out. So, uh, once they were going to check me out, I asked the nurse, I was like, oh, so how was I when I was laying down? She was like, you was moving too much. And I'm like, mm, she a little rude. Like, maybe I was just trying to get comfortable. She, <laughs> but I didn't care. So, she wheeled me out. And then um, I sat down in the car, see my friends and everything. They're like, girl, your boots look good. Like, your boots look good. So, this is the video of me getting inside the car. I'm ready to see them. I think they look cute. <laughs> I did good. Um, I wasn't really feeling any pain. Like when I got in the car, y'all, I was feeling good. Like I felt great, and I really love how he did my boobs. Like I didn't want my boobs to be far apart. I wanted them to be close together. And as you can see in the video, they're close together. So that was just something I was really big on. And as you can see, I wasn't loopy. I wasn't dizzy or anything. I was good when I woke up from anesthesia. I wasn't, you know, really tired either. I was just hungry and thirsty and ready to eat because, you know, I didn't eat anything. But my throat was like really, really, really scratchy. So, um, and like I kept coughing. So like I wanted some Panera bread. So I asked my friends to take me to Panera bread. I am to Panera. She's walking so funny. <laughs> We made it. I got my favorite smoothie. I'm about to put these through the shit. Yeah, I'm about to try these smoothies from Panera Bread. Um, so, yeah, after we left Panera Bread, my friends literally went to like 10 to 15 CDSs and Walgreens to look for medications. And I kid you not, y'all, they had no medication in stock. So, literally, I went a whole two days without perks, without antibiotics without um, my muscle relaxers and nausea. But luckily I didn't have nausea. I barely even needed the muscle relaxers. And um, I needed the antibiotics because you know the antibiotics is to stop the, make sure you don't have the infection. Like even if you don't have an infection, it's to prevent the infection. So I needed the antibiotics. But the next day when I had woke up, um, my friends had went to go fill the antibiotics for me, but I still did not have no perks, like no pain medication. Um, when I got to the hotel room right after surgery, I wasn't really in pain. This was me. 
and it's like titties y'all and um i wasn't really in pain it was just more of a muscle contraction because you know it's new weight on my chest so my muscle like my chest was just trying to get used to this the new girl sitting so um it wasn't really no pain the first day i felt like i did really really good um i just really needed help with lift like you know lifting myself up out of the bed and stuff like that it wasn't really no pain though but the second day y'all the second day y'all ooh. It wasn't bad pain. I ain't gonna do all that. But y'all gotta remember, I ain't have no perks. I ain't have no pain medication. You really can't say nothing but perks because um, ibuprofen uh, makes your blood thin. So, like, it makes you bleed even more. So, I ain't have no perks, y'all. So, I ain't gonna lie. I took one and I, ibuprofen because I felt like I was in a little bit of pain. So, I was bleeding a little bit more than usual. And this is how it looked. So, y'all, do not take no ibuprofen stick to what the doctor say but you know i ain't had no perks for a whole two days so I, I needed something but um yeah so i woke up the next morning and i was in a little bit of pain um but i also had a follow-up appointment that day good because i had to let them know like i didn't have no perks or nothing so like i took ibuprofen i just wanted to make sure you know nothing was going wrong and she said nothing was wrong i was just bleeding more than usual because you know ibuprofen makes your blood thinner um other than that i did really good i wasn't really in no pain and once again i didn't have no pain medication so i had to thug it out i'm a thug y'all i'm a thug so i was good after that, uh, we got back to the hotel room and I still wasn't in no pain, but we were leaving to go back home from our, my surgery was in Miami. I went to CG Cosmetics and my doctor was on the sofa. Once again, I'm going to be tagging all that information down below. But other than that, everything was good. I had a whole four hour ride home pain. Because, you know, the roads were, like, bumpy, so my boob just kept going, do 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 And, you know, my friend, I was, like, trying to doze off and go to sleep. But, you know, my friends, they they know that I got my boobs up at the same time. You know, they driving, we just trying to get home. So, you know, I'm knocked out. And then from time to time, you know, the, the road is bumpy and you can't really control. You know, y'all know Florida roads is, so, yeah, that ride was a long ride. But what I can say is it wasn't as bad like if you're thinking about going to get a breast augmentation i say go for it um once again this was an insecurity that i did have of myself ever since i was like in ninth grade like i have always wanted my boobs done like if you know me from high school you know that i have always wanted my boobs done but other than that I love my boobs. I feel like Doctor did a great job. As you can see, they are very close together. And it's, how can I say? They're not heavy. Like, they're really, really light on me. When I first got it done, you know, it felt a little heavy because, you know, it's titties. Like, it's no boobs sitting on you. So, it did feel a little bit more heavy. But right now, I'm feeling great. Um, I am two weeks post-op right now yes two weeks and this is how I looked for the first week and this is how I look now for the second week I'm about to be going on three weeks on Monday that'll be three weeks post-op and I have another follow-up appointment in September so I will be going back to Miami for that but other than that I feel like this journey of getting my boobs done was good, um, but I was scared. Like, I was so scared. Like, y'all, if you're scared of anesthesia, don't be. Because I thought that I was going to be not that like, well, I was, but it's like a high. Like, if you got ever got high before, it's like you just high and you just like, I need to go to sleep. So it's just like a rush, a high rush to go, hmm, and you go to sleep. It's not bad, though. Like, it's not bad. It's not scary. I recommend anybody who wants to get a breast augmentation, augmentation you do it. Um, and he also cut my nipple. So I had, like, a 
big um, nipple. And I wanted my nipples to be smaller and he cut it for me. And then the perfect size. So that's another thing that I do love. And I just love my boobs. Like, I feel like they complete me very good. And once again, if you have any questions, any other questions that you'd like for me to answer, just comment below. I will be again tagging the doctor, tagging the surgery um, place that I did attend. And I also will be tagging my socials at the bottom. Follow me on Instagram at Leela Marie underscore underscore. And follow me on TikTok at Leela Marie underscore underscore underscore. And make sure y'all subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you do have any other questions or concerns, feel free to ask me them. And in a couple of weeks, I will be uploading another video from for my three-week post-op. Just so you guys can see the healing process of it. Um, I do have some photos that I will be also tagging at the end of this video. You can see how my boots are recovering right now. And um, I did purchase a pillow from Walmart. It um, levels my back because you know you can't lay on your sh chest. I'm really I lay on my chest all the time, so I needed to purchase something that made me feel very more comfortable. And basically, it just elevates my back, so when I'm laying down, like my boobs don't really spread because I want to stay how they are. Like I don't really want them to spread. But everybody is different. Like if you're if you have high boob like your boobs are already high then it's more likely that your boobs are going to be high like my boobs were already set at a low tone so when he did them as you can see when i first got out of the um surgery place and out of surgery you see my boobs were already that high from the jump and literally that was right after i got the surgery so everybody's different but i say go for it if this is something that you really want to do i say go for it it's little to no pain Remember, y'all, I had no perks. I didn't get to refill my purse until I got back home in my hometown. And I filled the perks in right now. I still literally have the whole bottle of perks, y'all. But like I said, like, subscribe to your girl YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. And once again, follow me on Leela Marie underscore underscore on Instagram. And stay tuned for the next video. Your girl got new sisters. Like I gotta say, you're never gonna have a set of twins. They're gonna be sisters. Even though mine look like twins a little bit, but they sisters. Stay tuned.